Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. I just got back from uh, Las Vegas from the Supercharged Summit and I just dropped off Sally to school and right now I'm uh, supercharging the Tesla. So this is another supercharging episode. You may also notice that today's episode is a little different because today is the first driving episode that is being done in 360. Virtual Reality 360, whatever you want to call it. Basically, this video, you can, if you're using, if you're watching this uh, video from a computer or an iPad or a phone, you can use a finger and scroll around and see 360 degrees all around here. And so, you know, if you're, if you're wearing virtual reality glasses, you can put those on and then you can just look, your, look around and you'll be able to see not just me in the car, but the environment of this area I'm at. So as you can see the uh, the red Tesla next to me right there. And if you keep scrolling, you'll see those, uh, I guess, uh, gardeners, uh, workers in that green Davy. I'm mean, gonna assume it's a Davy Landscaping Trucking Company. Yeah, Davy Landscaping. And if you scroll a little that way, you'll see the, the main street. And over here, you I guess this is the, uh, the padlock for, I guess, the, the houses of supercharger electronics and stuff. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I'm just experimenting with this. This is my, my first 360 video that I'm, well, my, my first 360 video that I published with this new Samsung Gear 360. Let me know what you think. Uh, should I make future videos like this? Or should, or should I go back to the regular, you know, regular fixed GoPro, GoPro setup? <laughs> uh, I'd love to know what you think about it. Let me know in the comments. Anyway. Uh, what I want to talk about is, uh, I guess, uh, how is how I'm going to say this? Yeah, uh, commonalities of success. You see, uh, like I, said, I just got back from the Supercharged Summit in Las Vegas. There was, there was about two, almost almost two hundred people showed up uh, to the SS, SLS hotel, and they came from all over the world. So, what I whenever what I do is whenever I'm in a in kind of environment like this, I try to. I try to take an assessment of what everyone there have in common. Like the first thing is obviously they all want to make money, and but everyone wants to make more money. I mean that's just a common trait. But these people, unlike a lot of other people trying to make money online, they took action and they travel some great distances. Like I think the longest the travel the uh, travel was uh, from the UK. So it came all the way from the UK to Las Vegas to be at this event. So what would mix people travel great distance to do this and versus some people, another person who says that, yeah, I like to do it, but then when it comes to putting action on the road, uh, they they don't, they don't. I mean, they stay home or they're, ah, yeah, I really can't go. I got these excuses and that, you know, what? insert excuse that you want. And I find the, the biggest common trait among that group of people versus Say the the couch potatoes or the couch, yeah. I guess the, yeah. The 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 uh, what is it? How, how do you say it? those football team uh, coaching? But then you tell the coach, you suck, coach. But you know, but you, you know, sitting from the couch, yeah. Coach coaching. I don't know. Oh, I forgot what it was called. But but the, I find the biggest difference between the group that was there versus say the group that wants to do it, sounds great, and yeah, 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 but uh, not today, how about tomorrow? I find that the biggest difference between the two groups is a burning desire for success among the group that are at the event. And that is really one of the big keys of success. You need a burning desire. Like You need to feel in your gut that you have to be done. I'm. Uh, I heard story after stories, story after story from uh, all the attendees of why they're here, why they're doing the business. And when it came down to it, every single one of them had a burning, burning desire to make a better life for themselves, make more money, achieve financial, financial independence, financial freedom, uh, give a better family for, give a better life for their family and, or for the children or, trying to help the parents, like in the case of Hore, when I looked up, when, when I thought of Hore, you know, for the first, for the first year in the business, he did, he didn't do anything, he didn't do anything. And then, but then when his uh, parents, something happened to his parents and they need the money 
And she realized that that's when the Bernie's eye kicked in, that he really he really had to do this. So that's when he actually kicked in high gear. And then he went from zero for the first year to $159,000 within a matter of like, uh, I think it was uh, six months or so. Yeah. So if you don't have a burning desire for success, if you just have, if you're just the kind, if you're just like, oh yeah, I like it. It sounds great if it happens. You ever hear those kind of things? Like, it'd be great if it happens. Or one day, if this happened to me, I would love it. Blah, 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 blah. That's a wish. Does not that wish wishing it doesn't well, you know, you can make a wish, but generally without action, a wish is not gonna happen. And without a burning desire to want to achieve that, you're not gonna get off your get off the couch and actually do what's needed to be to be done. So question to you. Do you have a burning desire for success? And if you do, you will do whatever it takes. If you don't, then you need to reevaluate is this what you really want? Like what is, what is your truly desire? What do you truly desire? And then you can you can figure that out and then you can continue, right? So that's a uh, that's the main that, that's the main thrust I got from the event. And I'll have a few more a few more stuff to say about that, but that'll be in a future episode, but in the meantime, uh we'll end it we end it with that here. If you have a burning side for success, you will succeed. Uh, if you don't, you need to get it. Giantsheffandgiantshot.com. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of these uh, 360 videos. And uh, like and share my videos. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.